Я герой. I'm a hero of this tale. September 2006. Fairy tale therapy lesson. Tonya, seven. Dalmatian. I kind of drew two doggies, but one doggy like doesn't count in the film. But the other one does, because that doggy is me. In the film, it is also my idea that the lads go on a journey and want to find a snake or something. So the dog comes to them and they take the dog with them and this dog helps them all the time. Anton, 10, a boy. Maybe even not a snake, yes, maybe we need something good there. Like to find a diamond, yes, but not for like selling it later and to become rich, no. Like for there to be some kind of merit for the country. Susha, 10, angel. And maybe, maybe, maybe like they found the big happiness and they, the happiness is in the shape of a horseshoe, you know. And they give this happiness away for each family, so that all the families in this, in the country or a city, simply becomes happy, yes. Nastya, six, kitten. I drew the kitten, but I don't really think I will play this role. My kitten likes playing with somebody. And he makes up all kinds of games. Masha, eight, angel. I've got the angel here. It hasn't turned out quite right because I do not draw very well. Here, I made up this little piece of the tail like some friends are going somewhere and then meet the two angels, so. So they keep going and meet different obstacles and the angels help them. Janna, six, fairy. She is a fairy who uh, likes all sorts of animals. She like lives with them, she helps them. Then, when they set off on the journey together, she was helping them and said, Let's, let's all be together. I thought of like, so there I, maybe with some friends of mine, have a company there, yes. And we're always kind. So, like this is, this is our safe here. And we kind of give away, you can say, like, give money to people, yes. And by this, I explain that I, like, want to be a good character. Maxim, 10, a boy. I thought of this, this plot with a strong hero, and he has a dog and a cat, and he decided to get married. As much as he looked, he could not find anyone. So he is on his way, and he found this friend two angels, and he came across this magic shop and the fairy lived there. This is her, and he asked where it is possible, where he could find a girl which I would fall in love, uh, he got married. She said that on this volcano mountain, where lives, well, uh, some evil wizard, and she is a captive and you can't kill him with a sword, she made this potion and set off on her journey. And they decided to free the princess. And of course, they set her free, there. Sasha, eight, a boy. It all started in the classroom life. We started to fight and I was like pushed. And I pushed with my back, opened this secret, this hidden door, and we found this list there, this map, and it showed how to get to this secret land. Studio Master. I'm the teenager in the class. Present the children's film project. Your magic fairy tale. Little 
gold leaf. I dug this tunnel, but we didn't know you lived here, we would have dug it somewhere else. Take the little gold leaf quickly and hide, quick. Hide it under your shirt, he won't see it there. Go, go, quickly to your world. He'll catch her, you, and us as well. Go on. Yeah. One, two, three. Once again, if you are late for one more lesson, I shall call your parents into school. There you go. We will judge by this. If you are one minute late, even one second, you will have only yourselves to blame. Here's where you were stuck. Yes, and you were wriggling your legs like this. All right, enough already. See what I've got. Look at this. Wow, is it hot? No, it just tickles a bit. Is it from there? Yes. They were shouting, take it and go. That's one cool lighter. It's a little gold leaf. They called it little gold leaf. He's getting us. <laughs> what are you doing, dog? Boys, we can see you. The passage is blocked and there is no way back. Who are you? Angels or what? Mind you, we can't interfere in anything. We could maybe give you some clever advice or explain what's what. That we could do. Then please do explain what's what, because we don't understand anything. I'll go first, but I started talking to them first. Well, all right, all right. You start and I'll tell them the important stuff. Listen, listen. The giants sometimes shake the sky on purpose, and sometimes a star falls off. Little gold leaf is very small, she was not attached properly, so she fell off. Stars make good wishes come true, but little gold leaf is only little and silly. She makes any wish come true. That is exactly what the giant wanted. But Kitten and Dalmatian found out about his plan. They got to little gold leaf first. She is silly, she makes all wishes come true. 
They wanted to hide her, but there is nowhere to hide a star here. The giant would find it anywhere. Then Kitten thought, no, it was Dalmatian, come on, don't. I know better than you. Thought of hiding it in your world, there, behind the magic wall. That is why he dug the tunnel. But now it is blocked and there is no way back for you. So, there is only one thing to do. Go to the fairy to get help. She's kind, she's an enchantress, she will help you. And save little gold leaf as well. Otherwise, everyone here is in deep trouble. There you go. Lad, maybe we could clear the obstruction? That would be good. I'm not too sure my dad would be too happy to be called into school. This fairy, does she live far away? Three days on foot. Three days. Then not only dad, but a lot of other people won't be happy at all. Since the giant got little gold leaf, it has been cold here. You have to buy warm days now from the giant. All of a sudden, the water stopped tasting nice. You have to buy tasty water now. From the giant. Oh dear, what poor little wretches! Come into the house, quickly! In this weather you need some hot tea. One, two, three. So, I had some jam somewhere. Were there some biscuits as well? What was that hocus pocus? That is what I'm saying. Somewhere there was some jam, there were some biscuits. Don't sneeze, please. It makes me afraid. Three days of walking. Three days and all gone to the dogs. What's it got to do with me? Fairy, fairy, what's the use for such a coward? Enough quarreling. You see, she might be big. But she is still little, she needs protection too. Hey, it would be good to find out where this giant lives. Maybe you know. We know, we know. We know where he lives and the way there 
and where he's hiding little gold leaf. We can't interfere, but we know everything. Ask us. Maybe you would sell me one warm day, kind giant. <laughs> Your coin is not enough for one warm minute. Not even for one warm second. The key, we have to look for the key. How about two coins? Two coins? Well, two coins is something. Look, the key! What kind of money does the little miss have? Sure, hold on to it or we'll drop it. Go on, a bit to the left. Now right a bit. Come on, go on. Make it all right. Let all the water taste nice now. And let there be as many sunny days as they want. And let nobody ever get lost in the fog. You mustn't be so silly. You have to learn to tell good from evil. But how? How can you tell? Good, that is when it is good for everyone. Happiness to all. Don't they teach little stars these things? What about you? Do they teach you these things? Oh, they do. Oh, what's happening at school now? I could, maybe, slow down the time. So you could make it to your lesson on time, after break. 
I might even be able to uncharm the obstruction in the tunnel. Won't you be afraid? We won't sneeze when you do your charms and spells. I will try. In our world, nobody will hurt you. Nobody will make bad wishes. It is dangerous for you here. What if someone wishes for everything for himself again? Well, what's the delay? Just a minute. I am afraid. Wait, wait. Look around you. It is us, your friends. You can't be afraid now. I am afraid. You must not be afraid. You are a fairy, a kind sorceress. I am afraid. I'm afraid too, but I wouldn't let my friends down. Half a minute. Stop right there. Stop right there. One more step and I will strangle this entire menagerie. I need little gold leaf. My silly magic little gold leaf. Hey, where are you? Come to me. Where are you going? Come on, silly, come to my pockets. Ooh. Mommy, mommy, what are you doing? Let me go, silly. You've messed around enough. Help, I'm afraid. I won't be like that anymore. Yes, stars grow up faster than people. And become more intelligent faster too. You became clever, little gold leaf. Welcome to the sky. Now, a letter to your parents to start with. We really can't go here. We have absolutely no right to interfere in this world. I know, I know. Can you reach? Let's do it together. But we are on time. This time, we made it! What do you think? Where can we get a powerful telescope? <laughs> 